Okay, so this is a Valen Ecotech Pro 24 and in this video we're going to be looking at changing the water pressure sensor. So if you look in the description below, I'll put some reasons why you might need to change the water pressure sensor. But let's get into it. So if you want to take the front case off for this boiler, there's just one screw right here that you need to unloosen. You can either do it with a spanner or you can do it with a Phillips screwdriver. And then there's two clips you're just going to want to push in and the case should pop off. Okay, so our water pressure sensor is right here. So for this, you are going to need to drain the boiler as this is a wet pocket. So what you're going to do is you're going to shut the isolation valves with an Allen key and then you're going to want to drain the boiler via the drain off on the valves as well. So once you've done that and the boiler is drained, then you can pop this front panel on. And then you're just going to want to get a Phillips screwdriver and take off this here. So that slides down and then you're just going to unhook it from the gas valve here. Like that. All right. Now you can see we have much better access here. So also before we unpop that, we're also just going to turn off the electrical supply to the boiler. So once you've done that, you're just going to want to get a little flathead or something thin and you're going to want to push out that clip right there that's holding it in. that's the pin out and then once the pin is out you're just going to want to wiggle it out and that is the pressure sensor so a lot of these times they can get blocked through dirty systems so you're just going to want to take this connection off now Like that, and then you're going to want to get your new water pressure sensor. You're going to put some lube on it so it goes on easy, and you're just going to push it back in. Just like that, and I actually dropped the clip somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Right there. You are going to want to be careful because they do ping out sometimes. So sometimes they can pull in the back of the boiler. So be careful. So just going to slide the clip in. So sometimes it can be a bit tricky because you have to put your hand behind this pipe. So what I usually do is I use one hand to pass it behind and then I use my other hand to feed it in. like that we push it in and let's give it a pull make sure it's in properly then once that is done you can just push your electrical connection back in and that is it done next obviously you're going to unisolate the boiler shut the draining valve and fill back up and make sure it's all okay and that is how you change the water pressure sensor